Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to part number six of Black Mesa. Today we jump into Zen. What's going on in Differential? Welcome along to the stream. Hope you are doing well, my friend. Hope you're just tickety-boo and all that sort of jazz. Hi, YouTube. Mama, I'm famous. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I mean, just, just look at this place, man. This place is something else. i got to remember I've got the double jump now as well. So, uh, I want to check before we start. Is um, is the uh, audio and everything okay? I have turned the um, music volume up slightly. Um, just let me know how the balance is for like me and the uh, actual game itself. All good? All good. All right. Yeah, Alfie, what's going on? Oh, I'm, I am I was loving it from like the, the five seconds of this that I saw. <laughs> what's going on, Team Spen? Welcome, everybody's here. The whole crew's here. All right, shall we, shall we venture off then? Let's venture off into some zenness. Hey. Half-Life dude. Lambda dude. Like this thing here that was flying around me the other day. I was like, wow, it's just, it's really cool. Just everything's like mesmerizing. Pretty awesome stuff. Don't you, don't you want to be... Do I turn the lights off and stuff? <laughs> you can chill at the bottom of the level. Oh, really? I've got to try that out. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Conklin, actually, while you're here. Um, while you are here, uh, a bit of maybe something a bit interesting for you. I finally, 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 because it was actually half price, and I took the plunge, and I finally bought um, World at War, World, Cod World at War for the zombies. So um, if, uh, if ever... You fancy a game or anything, or some games at any point? Just hit me up, man. Zombies was a big passion of mine for years and years and years. Foul show. <laughs> yeah, now you need to go back to mapping. <laughs> Alright, anyway, this isn't about zombies. This is about Half-Life. This is about Zen. Let's um, venture on, shall we? What, what did I say wrong to the lights? Looks like there's... A couple of ways to go here. Oh, this guy's flashing. It looks like we just get to rob his... Um... Oh, here come the headcrabs. Oh, wow. I can actually smash them. Even though they're so pretty. Shouldn't smash the jellyfish. <laughs> Welcome to my world, Conk Clan. That's what my life's constantly like. I've got so much going on. So many projects. Um... So little time. Just throw things off into the void. Alright, so I guess we're going to jump off. I guess we're meant to go down here. Just a hunch. There ain't no way back. So it seems. Alright, I feel like we're going to have some... Activate long jump. Oh, you get. Well, that worked. <laughs> Quite well. I didn't even think to look out for those things, to be honest. I suppose I, that lens flare, man. Um, I suppose I should really expect it, seeing as though, like we're in their home domain and, and all. I should really be expecting these sorts of things. Yeah, exactly, Aaron. <laughs> 
Let's get rid of them. Do you play a lot of zombies in Alfie? Do you are you a, a big zombies fan? Just to deviate slightly. I say I'm not gonna deviate and then start up a what platform do you do you play on? Do you have them on like PlayStation at all? Do you have a PlayStation or are you just mainly a PC gamer? Because uh, most every, all of my zombie stuff is on PlayStation. Oh man, things are. Oh, you're an you're you're an exponer. Oh man, it's getting pretty noisy in here. It's like the fountain of youth. It heals me? Well, I did just say it was like the fountain of youth. Seriously, I wasn't to know that. Dowel systems. Guessing that uh, it's not gonna have much use, right? I guess. All right. Big electric crystals are your friend. Don't pass them up. <laughs> uh, big electric crystals. Have I already gone past them? So how am I supposed to get to that guy up there? Okay, alright. Is there a way to get to that guy over there? Or I guess maybe you can jump from elsewhere. Maybe I've missed that opportunity now. Oh boy! The enemies I really, really hate. Alright, they're all gone. <laughs> Damn straight. My spacebar's not working. Nah, my spacebar never works. There seems like there's like so many different ways you can potentially go here. I guess in the other side though just leads back up to like round here. If I'd have gone the this way, I'm guessing it would have just taken me round. Yeah. So I didn't miss anything. This looks safe. <laughs> Conclave was too busy exploring the non-linear path. <laughs> you got to explore these things. You've got to explore these things. Can I not take the grappling hook? That'd be awesome. Ta -da! I guess I'm going to have to climb back up here though to jump across onto this. Just a hunch. Oh god, you too. Seriously. Oh, 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 okay, we made it. We made it. Oh, we gotta then go across there? Jeez, okay. Wow. Okay, that was uh, scary, to say the least. Hmm. 
Got some teleportation stuff going on here. things. So I guess these are like a, some sort of power source. Alright, well they're clearly teleportation devices of some. Okay, did I was I over there? I think that's probably where I can't go back. So that's fine. Just try and smash everything, anything and oh 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 Okay. Those things don't look very nice. Are these the big... Oh! Okay, so the fountains heal our health and these things actually charge our suits. Interesting. Can I, like, get across here? And maybe like across here. I can. Would you look at that? Is this the way I'm meant to go? Uh, well, there's another guy over there, so maybe there's some stuff I can get over there first. Oh, wow. Those things were epic. Well, they're dead. And it's like a trap. These these things. They kill my comrades. And then they're just waiting there. Patiently. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Yo, Mika! <laughs> you don't mind me, Alfie. You know, you just sort out your personal disputes. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Maybe tomorrow night we'll just cut out. We'll cut out the game totally, and we'll just do like a. We'll just have a court session for you and Conclan tomorrow night live on the stream, and you can just resolve all your differences there. How's that sound? Go away, Office Three Six Five. So I guess it's like scanning the area and mapping out some stuff. I think we already dealt with all this, though. Oh. I think I missed stuff. You need to gather evidence. I could probably gather some evidence from all the... Uh, <laughs> all the Minecraft server footage. <laughs> God, the amount of raging and the amount of arguments I've witnessed on there is crazy. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just wondering, was there any uh, something over here then that I maybe should have gone to instead? Let's find out. Oh. Nearly. There's nothing I missed. Nothing over here? Does this just take me back to where I was before then? I like exploring. <laughs> Alright, if there's nothing to miss, I'll, um, nothing ready to miss in the openings then. Alright, cheers, guys. <laughs> oh my god, there's loads of these things. Death wish with the 10 month Twitch Prime resub. You absolute legend. Thank you very much indeed, buddy. Hope you're well. 
You are a boss. Alright, there's nothing over here that's actually going to... Oh. You just... Uh, kind of take up that cable there. Okay. I'm not sure I'm liking the looks of this. I maybe should have gone, actually, while that was up there. Of all the places to worry about spelling Conclan, this really isn't one of those places. <laughs> Christ, my spelling's atrocious. Alright. There's some funny old noises coming from over there. And look at those things. Needs a line thingy. Ah, uh, excuse me. Okay, how I didn't die there, I had no idea, but once again, space bar fail. Should we try that again? Not quite sure there how I didn't get grabbed by one of those things, but I'll take it. And there's something over there. One of my dudes is over there, but I don't... There's a couple of head crabs over there, so I don't think I need to go that way. This definitely looks like the right way to go. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. Steady. Alright, so... Didn't have to endure the uh, nasties. Please wipe your feet. <laughs> Following the rules. Oh, yeah. This kind of reminds me of like. <laughs> I know going back to this, it reminds me of Bloody Moon from Zombies. Like, seriously. I don't know if he was alive or dead, but I'm not taking the risk. Man, this is... Uh, this is not creepy at all. with the uh is that head crab dead or I guess so this place are spooky that's for sure This place are very spooky. Is he alive? No, I guess he's dead. I think he can decide which way he wants to come for me. Well, I can assist making that decision. Overkill, I know, but I love that, like, because they're wearing the suits, they get like the 
Like the death noise and stuff. It's a real cool little touch. Why could he not, like, break through the glass? Please break through the glass. Alright, power's depleted. So, do I have to bring something to here? Um... Maybe not. Maybe we don't have to do anything in here at all. Just carry on through. Oh no, this is where it was before. So, okay. We plug this in, maybe? No? Clearly I, 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 missed, I missed the lesson about plugging things into things. And I'm still hitting my freaking. I'm still accidentally hitting shoot. Oh, I didn't notice that bit actually. I didn't notice that uh, team spin. That was interesting. That's interesting. Shotgun skills are something to be desired. But man, this place is so freaking eerie. I'm getting so many vibes of like different things all all mashed together in this. So I say I've got like the vibes from Moon from um, from Black Ops zombies. It's kind of branching into kind of like a, an alien vibe when they're on the freaking um, LV-426 and they're going, like, leading up to the um, the derelict. Man, this is, this is crazy looking. He's dead. I think there's any... Any question about that? I, I think it was more than he, he, he'd hoped for, to be fair, and uh, to be fair, Deathwish. Because to be fair, up until the moment he redeemed it, I wasn't even sure what it was going to be. So, <laughs> all right, we got to uh, plug in some stuff. Wow. Are all the battery packs depleted here, or...? It was just me goofing around. To put it bluntly. <laughs> thought something might actually happen there. Yo, Mikey, what's going on? The goofy goober indeed. Hope you are, buddy. Welcome to stream. Yeah, the clip is somewhere. Aaron, uh, Aaron or somebody clipped it at the time. Oh, why is he? Why is he glowing? Has he got a suit on? Alright, listen out for the suit this time. All right, calm down. That ain't good. Oh, crap. That ain't good. 
could have there was a spare battery pack conveniently placed for us. Take the blue pill? No, never take the blue pill. Same old poop. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Thank you very much. Not too bad at all. Making our way through this beautiful area of the game. Have you actually played it yet, Aaron? And if you played it, why don't you why don't you stream it? Why don't you stream it? The blue pill is like the cake, it's a lie. Did I come out? Oh yeah, it's a different place because the sign wasn't there. Yeah. Or are you just going on what you've seen? Imagine I would say the purple pill. <laughs> Death wish. Got it in one. Got it in one. Oh, you saw it a long time ago. I absolutely love that game. That game was freaking immense. Um, do I get over here? Or is this all just like dead area? Maybe this is the way I've got to go. What's with the sound, man? Holy cow. Don't take any drills. Drugs, boy. So I need to um, Sonic the Bulldog. <laughs> so someone's having some uh, some fun here with the uh, different types of aliens. The thing is, though, I don't really know what's alive and what's not alive at the minute. So, okay, that's alive, or that's at least. <laughs> harmful <laughs> they are the development names are they okay thanks for that Conklin should we make thing go boom or is that going to kill us no we make thing go boom it's just an area of the game where it's teaching us Exactly what that does and what happens there. I didn't open stuff. What did I do? Did something up there. Do I need to plug it in somewhere else? What if butt thing go boom? I think I'm going to get shafted here. No? Okay. Well, I guess we go onwards. I mean... Not really anything else to see or do here, is there? Unless I'm missing stuff. Oh, it's, it's time for... It's that time of the day! How many knock points does Deathwish have? I can't even remember what we finished up on last time, to be fair, Deathwish. Alright, so I'm missing something. Follow the cables, knock. Follow the cables. Well, that's clearly got power there. So... Powered something over here. That's giving power to there. So can I take the power out of there, perhaps, and put it somewhere else? Uh, 
I can. So I'm guessing I'm going to power this one here. Yep, there we go. Now we should be able to get through the door. Is there a way to view another channel's clips? Um, there is, I think. If you go to... Uh, I think you actually have to go into your dashboard, Conclan. Um, so if I go into mine, I go to content and clips. Then I have an option of clips I've created and clips of my channel. So, for example, if you go here, um, if I just replace that with Conclan, if you go there, then you should see ones of your channel and ones that you have created as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, this place is just so freaking... All right, go here, Conclan. Go here. And um, you should have an option to do um, clips you've created and clips of your channel. This is the place where FPS com frames come to die, is it, Aaron? This place and this music right now kind of... Now it's giving me a, like a bit of a Tomb Raider vibe. I get like so many different vibes from this game, man, in this area of the game. It's crazy. Just sit here all day and look at this. Mika hit the nail on the head there with the seven twenty. Uh, sorry, seventy two hundred, not seven twenty. 720 no scope. Schisma is. I quite like at the minute that there's like not much. Um, there isn't many um, like enemies and stuff in these areas because you really do kind of get to just spend that extra bit of time and just take in everything rather than sort of like rushing around trying to like battle your way through this area. Very nice indeed. I bet I've said that now and I'm going to get absolutely bum raped by something. But, man. Don't do that right there, right next to that exploding thing. Thank you very much. Oh. What? I got the what now? Are you talking about one of the guns, Conclan? Which gun is that? This place gives me the feeling that Zen is not an alien world of evil being. It's just a different ecosystem like humans because of the black mace are in a world where they don't belong. Oh! Oh, yeah, the wheel. Sorry. I get you now. I get you now. 
I almost planted that today, to be fair. I almost planted that. I've done quite a bit today, but man, have I struggled with freaking lag. It's been real lagtastic today. Put it in a flower pot. Half of my whole area is just destroyed now. Completely destroyed. Is it dead? Or is it just taking a rest? This area makes me uneasy. Seeing all these big explodey things. Come on, Gordon, why do you take so long to reload? Falls through so many things. Don't use a shotgun around here. Yeah. Probably not a bad call. Oh my goodness. Those freaking hangy things are around here as well, aren't they? Now, the, the big question is, can I stand on these things? I really should have probably tested this out before. Okay. I can hear those things, for lack of a better term. Those things, you know, those things. I can hear them. Really sneaky there. Oh, I didn't see you. Uh oh, we're in trouble. You're dead. Man, where are they all coming from? Oh. You're over there, you sneaky Russian. ignore them. There's all these areas to explore and stuff. Oh, and then there's a head crab for good measure as well. Where you gone? Oh well, who cares. Print an airboat and put it above your monitor. Good lad. Good lad. Do you know what happens when I encounter an airboat? Well, that's it. We know what happens when I encounter an airboat. See what you made me do there, Megist? <laughs> Jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> How's that thing? I don't know I'm like killing. I seem to be like killing like the natural kind of world around me as I walk past things. What the hell is that thing? 
Is that going to attack me? Well, not anymore. Wow, I wasn't even ready. Don't know if you know Dan's question about Russians, Finland's where I live next to Russians. Still, did I miss something about that? <laughs> Look, I, I learn from mistakes, Kong Man, alright? I learn from my mistakes. I've come to I've come to love and embrace the airboat. I feel like there's those things are around. Again, I, I feel like there's more of them somewhere. I just don't know where. Ooh, do I do I want to go down there? Maybe I've got to go down there in a minute. Let's heal up first. I will be completely honest though, I don't like recognize or remember any of this from like the original, so I don't know how much of this, if at all any, is like part of the original. How much is is like Oh, that was that was bad. That was bad. Whew. It's completely new, is it? <laughs> Valve News Network failed that jump six times. Man, do I feel good. Normally it would be me failing because my space bar sucks. If you didn't know. Is there anything hiding in this water? I guess not. Oh man, there's explodies! What? 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 Since when? <laughs> Alright. I feel like thing things getting serious right now. And how on earth did I not walk into one of those? I will never know. How is it though that I can like fire a shotgun, which is a, a wide, a wide ranged weapon, and I only take one of them out? I didn't even press fire there. Don't know what those things are, but they're not particularly strong, are they? Can I take that and use it as a shield? You can already see Nox struggling. What was that? <laughs> Alright, let's just casually move on. Mind our own business. Some explodey things up there which probably don't want to touch.
Alright, so now we've got power lines, so maybe I do need to bring something over here. Okay, there's a, there is a power cord there. Let's plug that into there. We need to put something into there, though. Because there's no energy source right there, so let's follow the cable round, maybe? There's nothing grown here. Alright, so I've opened that. Maybe we don't need to do anything with that power source, do we? Oh boy, here we go again. Whatever that is, though, it's not powered, so... Do I need to... He will have some... Alright! <laughs> Cheers, Sam, I guess. jump pad. Alright, so is there, is there a way to power the that thing out there? It seems, uh, it seems like I missed something. My crossbow reload as well. Can't take any batch packs. Maybe I come back and do that later. Hmm. Let's just carry on for now. That gives me one. No. Yes. Okay, there we go. Blow up all that and there just happens to be one shard that's left behind for us to use. And I'm not sure I like them. To be fair, um, I do normally play games on um, like hardest difficulties, but normally only games that I'm familiar with. I'm really not. I'm really not. I mean. Come on, Aaron, you can remember when I played the freaking... When I played um, Half-Life 2, I couldn't even drive the freaking car half the time. Um, I don't know, there's just something about, like, the, the shooting... Whole, the whole shooting thing in um, Source Engine that I'm not particularly good at. So, I tend to kind of... Not... Um... I didn't particularly want to play hard straight away, but I do kind of intend on probably going back and playing hard off stream later on. I kind of had this discussion, um, I think at the beginning of this playthrough, kind of explaining like I, I felt like um, I've always been used to playing shooter games where you ADS, and I feel like 
not having to ADS is like a massive jump and a massive step. And it's something I never really got used to in the Source games. That's why I absolutely suck at Counter-Strike. But, hey-ho. Can I just cheat my way up the hill? I guess not. <laughs> so, do these things bounce me? Is, is that what's going to happen here? Clearly. Clearly that was what I needed to do. Um, and now I've got to remember which way I went. Uh, I need to be back up there, don't I? Yours. How was that? Sound like someone was talking to me. Um, use the force, knock. Use the force. I could have just reloaded, but. Where do I where do I go from here? Exactly? Do I just go through here? Alright, I'm gonna reload so we don't have to do that again. You see, especially with horror, for me with horror games, um, I prefer to play horror games on hard difficulty straight away. And the simple reason for that is I find with horror games, once you've played them once and you know kind of like where all the jump scares and stuff are, um, a second time playthrough doesn't quite have the same effect. So. I kind of feel to get like the proper experience out of a horror game, I would always play it on a harder difficulty first. Yeah, I mean, Alien Isolation, like, I. My, my first playthrough took hours and hours and hours and hours. My second playthrough took, like, probably about four or five hours tops. Once you know the game and you know the jump scares, you know where everything's coming, then you kind of lose that... Um, you kind of lose that effect almost. So I always find, like I say, with, with horror games, it's good to play them on a harder difficulty first. The alien and alien, the, uh, yeah. So yeah, the 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 AI in Alien is is pretty good. Um, and there's a there's a video I watched about it actually once, and I think I can't remember if um, LB might have linked it to me, but it basically explains how the AI works in Alien Isolation, and it's really really clever. Um, and it's made in a way so that the AI never cheats, so it, it can only detect the player by um, actually using the game mechanics as such. Um, it can never cheat to find out where the player is. So um, that kind of puts the emphasis on the player that they have to kind of be really stealthy, be really quiet to avoid detection, which is really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it even more ironic that they set that game up so beautifully for a sequel and then Sega was like, no, we've got no money. Can't do it. Can 
not blow them up. Okay, snap. I just thought I might be able to like blow them up and like get a cascading effect or something. Huh. <laughs> Trust me, if you, if you play the game well, there is plenty of jump scares and alien isolation that are scripted, so don't worry about that. Don't know what about that, Gong Clan. It's like my Scottish accent. I feel like something big is about to happen. I hear you. Oh, I see you. I guess I can't just shoot that in the back. I've got to go all the way around, which is... Okay. What? Um, I know you're working on a um, I know you're working on a horror game, Errand. I think you showed me some, or I think you showed me a video of it at some point, like a trailer, fractal space trailer. Um, did you send me it? If you did, then I don't know. It doesn't. I, I don't recall it. I guess I've got to go down here, right? <sighs> okay. Let's try and save that. Alright, I guess not. Unless it's going to take me even higher. Okay, this takes me... Um... Okay, I can get up here. Let's well, this thing up a bit weird. <laughs> Aaron's horror game, code name Destroyed Aperture. I think I'm meant to be up here just yet. This doesn't seem right. I don't think I'd be able to jump across there. So that doesn't feel right. Don't move in on the launch pads. They have a set paths, and if you air strafe off the path, like the fave plate, be bad. Try not to move. Yeah, okay. I think you both said the same thing. Thanks for the tips. Appreciate it. But it doesn't seem to shoot me anywhere. I'm confused. No, I am meant to go up here. Okay. So. I guess I maybe have to long jump then. Well, now we're screwed. Yeah, let's just fire a rocket at them. That, that seems sensible. somewhere. There we go. <laughs> Am I going back to the beginning here? I think I went back to the beginning, didn't I? Oh no, this is this is a new area. Oh my goodness. This area does not make me feel confident. Alright. Let's 
So where was that other dude shooting at me? Or shooting at them zombies at least. Should we just make a... Uh... Let's run. Run! Oh man, I got stuck on the I got stuck on the edge and I couldn't get <laughs> there was like no nowhere to go but death. That was fail. Man. Alright, let's go. I can't deal with the recoil! <laughs> Didn't you say something about ammo is is ammo is quite precious? <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness. I just had a chance. It's like a proper jizz fest this is, isn't it? Oh well, we're dead. Oh man. Um All right, let's just like let these guys I, I think taking them out with the sniper uh, like the crossbow is like probably best bet. Where I can see them, that is. I oh, know. I thought that was wasted. Because they didn't even die. Oh, big rip. Hell, it's like whipping me with his tail. Get whipped. <laughs> oh, and don't ask why, but that just, that just put like a massive thought of The Simpsons in my head. Um, if you've ever <laughs> if you've ever seen the um. It's like one of the Simpsons episodes and it's special and there's just Smithers dressed up like a cowboy with a um, a licorice whip going, licorice whip! I don't know, I like... Yeah, that's what came to my head right there. Well... I'm not liking this bit. Hit <laughs> with a nay nay. No. All right. Not liking this bit. Maybe I should pull out the um, the big boys for this. This is probably going to be a better ta technique. Can't quite see him, can I? He's hiding like a doofus.
How many times have I done that? Like, seriously? <laughs> What's it even stuck on? Oh, jeez. Invisible clips. Gotta love them. Alright. I tell you what else I don't like is that you can't see you can't see the others until um, you can't see the others until you move to certain areas. It's quite annoying. I can't just like sit here, camp, and take them out. All right, he's gone. He's gone. All right, I'm thinking save. All right, I want to live with that. Can't live with that though. Thank heavens for long fall boots. good for save points. Yeah, I know. It's, it's no fun if you uh, just sit there and snipe away. I agree. As much as I complain, I also agree. Alright, let's try and make this jump this time, shall we? So what's that going to be? Is that part of the... Nope, still can't make it from there. Oh, come on. I've got to go over here. I can't see another way, really. And probably over to here. Yep. There we go. Progress. Alright, there's a way out here. Why the hell thing so noisy? Okay. What does that actually do? I'm guessing it changed the path somewhere. Oh, you don't know what licorice is, Conclan? Okay. I missed that question. Oh, you know what it's made of. Okay. Where do we actually want to go here? Power 
Wait, there's a sweet that has sugar in it? Can I get stuck in here? Okay. Why didn't I try and do that before? It's like that area on, um, it's like that area when you're going through the, like, the out outdoor buildings. Oh, jeez. So I, I can't use explosives or shoot anything explosive in here. Basically. Alright. Let's, uh... So the real question is, how to get past these freaking dog things? Can I sneak past the sleeping dogs? I guess I can. Wasn't this the whole goal to come down here and shoot something there? No. I gotta go back again. This way? Alright, so we're back here where it was before. In this bit. Okay, things change to blue here. So, which way can I jump? Which way should I jump? Surely I can't make that. Can I? Okay, that feels scripted push. Not the little things, I hate those things. Rats in here, the lab, t <laughs> the lab rats tell me they developed the first prototype after science quantum tunneling device. And if you eventually, it's gonna make us a lot of cheddar. <laughs> J 
Do you know what? I love it when you guys come up with the uh, the Cave Johnson analogies. Mm-hmm. Is, is there a way around these without having to... Kind of worked. Oh, where's that head crab going? See you later, fellas. Did I use all my... No? I don't know. Alright, so we're here. I'm going to go across to here. Gone. Oh, that was close. I actually feel like this section at the minute is quite. It's, it's not just about like shooting and, and fighting. It's actually quite, um, I feel it's like quite puzzly as well, which is quite nice. It's quite a refreshing change from kind of having to uh, just like run around and shoot things all the time. All right, we opened up the portal. No, I don't, Conclan. What do they say? And who are they? Who are they and what do they say? <laughs> they say that they say. Uh, am I doing like a big, a big jump over here? I see you. Go away, you'll give away my position. Go away, go away. I see them things over there waiting for me, look. I see them. You're not telling me there was only one. I'm not buying that at all. You can't lead a man to banana pudding, but you can make him drink. True true words there. True words. Spoken like a champ. Good job, Conklin. Why would them things stay still, man? Like, seriously. They're really annoying if they move. Everything should just stand still. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, okay. go. With the head crabs again. Power was, what, 100%? It's not anymore. What? I thought I'd deal with all you lot. Where are they coming from? Where? Seriously? Where are you coming from? You're coming out of the bushes. You're attacking me from the bushes. Alright, so, guessing I'm going down the river. Do 
Can I go upstream? Okay. I can't go upstream. So, can I go downstream? Maybe upstream is the way to go. No, that's all blocked off. Alright. Okay. Some things look weird. Some things look creepy AF. Okay, the fact that it's giving me free heals and ammunition. Always makes me wary. Yeah, never trust a gift in an FPF shooter. What are those things? They're like pugs on steroid. I probably don't need to take those things out, but I just feel safer if they're all out, if, if everything's gone. Them things be like super mega pugs. Oh, we're not singing, uh, we're, we're not singing Bon Jovi tonight, Kong Clan. <laughs> that time. Maybe that's the thing we need to do, you know. Maybe we need to do a um maybe we should do a Twitch Twitch Sings stream. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Although com other than complete and complete and utter embarrassment. Alright, karaoke night? Who doesn't love karaoke night? I don't know how Twitch Sing works. The Twitch Sings works properly, to be fair, so... Um, 
One thing I do need to try, though, is... Um, I need to try Marbles on the stream at some point as well. Deathwish. Um, I've seen it around. Deathwish has been trying it out um, lately. So, that's something I kind of want to try out at some point as well. Bit of an interactive game for you guys to join in with. That didn't film with confidence. One shot kill, all right. No, what I mean is, Colonel, I don't know how the, the actual, the actual, there is an actual Twitch things app, isn't there? There's an actual thing for it. I don't know how that works. Okay. So I go across there. So can I get across there in one foul swoop or? do that. God damn it. Damn my curiosity. Let's go on GM Gaming. Welcome on to stream. Hope you are well. Sure, nothing bad's gonna happen. Right? Things travel so far when you blow up in this game. Snipes! What's going on, buddy? Welcome on stream. Hope you're well. How was uh, Tomb Raider 3? I've never played Tomb Raider 3 myself. Um, I'm currently still working through Tomb Raider 1 at the moment. Doing it all uh, off... off, off. Uh, stream but uh, yeah I'm doing well thank you very much for asking thank you oh wow like bouncy walls alright so the game tricked me I thought we was going to be walking into like some big fight or some big boss fight or something but clearly that's not the case as uh we still haven't come across anything as of yet. But it's never too late. Those things safe. Yeah, I noticed that you didn't uh, 
I was kind of like expecting to see something when I woke up this morning, Conclan, but uh, clearly still working out and uh, having teething issues with that. This is the way I just came. Have I just, have I just come around in a big circle? What? How did I manage that? Mm -hmm. I went to clean it up and had some logging around some problems where I didn't know what he was doing. Okay, right enough. Yeah, I know that. I know. I know the feeling, Snipes. It's like I've during like the um, during like this quite like quiet periods and stuff. Our boss was like, okay, so it's the perfect time to kind of like pick up on your training. So when the phones aren't busy and you've not got a lot to do, then you know just do some training. Everybody take it in turns. Do so much training a, a week. Everybody picks a day, does a load of training. Like, yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But, man, everybody just bombards me with work and I don't actually have time to do any training, so... <laughs> oh, come on, Knock. Yeah, I can totally relate to that, man. Maybe I can just go the swing instead. No, I can't get through there. Believe me though, from experience, Conclan sometimes just like walking away and taking a break from stuff is the best thing you can do with coding. The amount of times I've had like days and I've been sat here for hours and hours and hours like trying to figure out a problem and I can't figure it out and I've, I've come back to it the very next day and like solved it like pretty much straight away is like insane. You have days like that when you're like coding and doing programming. Some days you just can't physically function and you can't get things to work. As frustrating as it is. So we're not that way. This way? It's a bit like a magical mystery tour right now. Yeah, it's, don't, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah. If I, oh, I'm going backwards. If I can help out in any way, please, you know, do let me know. I know I'm not massively good with Python, but um, yeah, if I can help in any way, just let me know. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure it's not just. Um, I'm sure it's not just sort of like a, a coding thing either. I'm sure it can that sort of analogy and philosophy can be applied to so much. So, anyway. Where do I go? Well, these ways are, all these ways are blocked off. So I gotta go back this way. So I'm missing something over here. I guess I gotta jump somewhere. But where? Why do you think, though, Conclan? You know exactly what you've just said there. Why do you think I have never ever? I'm oh, crap at this jump. Why do you think I've never ever released a hammer map? Why do you think I have never ever finished a game development? <laughs> because you have those days, and then you're kind of like, ah, oh, need to take a break from it. And before you know it, like a year and a half later, you come back to it. Yeah, seriously, comments, you can never over-comment. Uh, 
I have Visual Studio open, but I just find it so hard to get myself to do anything. It just sits in my taskbar like, yeah, I'll work on things a bit, never end up doing anything. Comment. I mean, I, I try and comment pretty much every single line of code. It's so important. I have some routines for stuff that I like, because a lot of my stuff, a lot of like my speciality, I guess, in, in my workplace is um, I often take two bits of software that don't normally like communicate and talk together and um, I kind of, you know, write APIs or write, write, write ways for them to, to function. So our, we, we've got a help desk system called, we use a system called ConnectWise and um, we run all of our kind of like monthly ongoing agreements and things through there. So it's a constantly evolving thing depending, so for example, we have our Office 365 products on their licensing, um, which changes on a um, monthly basis. So I have written like a, a portal which we can manage all of our things, uh, license things on, and then that gets automatically sent through to ConnectWise. But like the main like additions routine on that is probably about 600 lines of code in just like one main routine to get all that done. And without comments, I've got like no no hope whatsoever of like understanding what it is I'm meant to be doing. All right, I think I'm meant to go to here first. This seems good. So yeah, comment, comment, and comment some more, man. Seriously, you can never, ever over-comment. Comments are your friend. I think I can get up here. Oh, so I can stand here, but I don't know, I think that this is right, because it doesn't seem like there's any clear path to go after this. Did I come from over there? So, ah, I did. Yeah. Okay. So this is the right way to go. All right. Never mind. Panic over. I'm not sure I want to go down the waterfall. Okay, right, maybe I do go down the waterfall. I mean, sometimes I think sometimes I think I go like massively OTT with commenting, but you can never. I don't think you can ever go OTT with comments. And it's especially helpful, like when you like go back, say, you know, six months, a year later, and you kind of think, okay, so I was doing what with this now? What the hell are those things? They don't look particularly friendly. Oh, that's not that's not good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it's not just like, it's, commenting is not just important for yourself. I mean, obviously when you're working on individual projects, it's, it's your own preference. But when you're working as part of a team, you know, it allows somebody else to pick up your code and, and read through your code and be able to understand quite easily what you what that routine or what that, that those methods are doing so in a collaborative sense as well it's good practice to kind of to comment for for that sort of purpose as well i just gotta go across here then across there and try and avoid all these nasties in here
Alright, that went pretty well. Save there. I'm going to keep checking out and save here. Thank you. Wow, I can't believe I got across there without getting eaten by the sharks. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Yeah, I've I've got like I don't use GitHub, but oh my goodness me. I don't use GitHub. I've got my own private source code repository on my development server for work, so everything's on there, but even still, every time I do a commit, or every time I start working something new, I branch it off. I write comments on my branching. I write comments on my commits. Everything's commented, not just in my code. And this looks awesome. Thanks, Black Mesa guys. Now this worries me. Hey GM Gaming. Welcome back. This worries me immensely. Alright, let's make sure we're all reloaded, stocked up, ready to go. I guess we are. But yeah, this, this this worries me immensely. The amount of ammo and health they're giving me right now. Decompiling Mario. Reverse engineering, though, is, is as much an important part of coding and development as just normal sort of writing your own code, so. Especially for me, like, for, for a lot of the stuff that I do, I find it really important when I'm trying to, like, work out how to integrate two systems together, if you can understand how they, they work um, normally, then that gives you a big advantage. I mean, granted, a lot of the time, software these days, though, not so much when I first started, but a lot of software these days all has their own APIs and stuff, so uh, the task of actually doing it is a lot easier than it used to be. Back when I, back when I started, a APIs weren't weren't such a big thing. What the freaking hell are these things? Are they gonna kill me? I don't know. This isn't good. Um, the game we're working on, it was a mess when I picked it up again. Problem with the code is terrible. It was all spaghetti and uncommented, but I just couldn't be bothered to start it all over again. I knew, so I just had to clean it up by myself. Combined like four scripts into one efficient one, rewritten some things, written new better functions to make it easier. Still got loads to do and implement, but it's so nice seeing all the code, how you rewrite it. Yeah, I mean... One thing I really like doing, even though it's like a really time-consuming and almost sometimes seems a bit of a pointless exercise, excuse me, is going back and rewriting old code. There's nothing more satisfying than going back over stuff and uh, you know, making it more efficient, or if you've learned new ways of doing things, you know, rewriting it so it fits in new. That's I, I find that a really nice thing to do in code. Definitely. So there. Gosh, talking about we use different terms. I have similar thoughts, but considering the article, 
philosophical things. I have a lot of book projects in my head. You just start writing. Yeah, it's, it's all the same, Meek. I mean, you know. I, I, you, you could apply this sort of analogy, I guess, to... Um, I guess you could apply it to kind of like an, an author. You know, author's writing a book. Get does so much, doesn't quite know where they're going to go to next, but they kind of like leave themselves and make a load of comments so that they know when they come back to that particular spit, they know where they're going and what they're doing. Oh, can I... Can I Oh, wow, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. Okay. There's things attacking me from front and behind. Oh my god. This section of the game is horrible. Holy cow. <laughs> Here's a tip. I agree. So now having depleted the majority of my crossbow ammo. We will soldier on. We are making our way to the center. Oh man. They did such a good job with the soundtrack. Like seriously, some of these tracks I could see, I could like see using as like a, as opening tracks for a DJ set, like this one especially. It's got such a nice feel to it. This would go so nice in like a deep house set or something, just to start it off. Still need to work on this. See, that's another thing I want to work on still this year as well. I really want to work on like a, a video game um, mix of some description. I've been saying it now for like at least two years, if not more. I really want to do one. It's just like finding the time to research like music tracks and stuff. What are those things actually standing on, right? So to me, they're like levitating in the air. Or is that just me? Yeah, I hear. I find though, I mean, I've got, um, 
I have Ableton Live. I don't know if I've got it installed at the minute. But it's not just that like, the programs cost a lot of money. They, they, they often have like very steep learning curves as well. Which for me isn't great because I don't necessarily have the time to uh, do the learning. Alright, so I guess this is the right way. I guess maybe... yes, there we go. Music's always been like a really massive part of my life though. I so need to get I so need to get that video done that I've been planning again. Stuff I've been planning for years and years and years. I've been planning kind of like a a Knox musical history kind of video and I've got a script written it for it and everything. I'm sure I've mentioned it before. But um yeah, just get around to actually recording it and stuff. And uh, I, I kind of want to do it, but I don't know what to kind of put on in the background while I'm doing it, like video and sort of imagery wise. So but I really want to kind of do that video. I think you guys would be kind of interested in like my full musical background. What the hell is going on with this guy? I've had the script written for probably about three years. I've had the script written. Bring back Knock FM. <laughs> yeah, you see, again, that's something else of mine. I'm just trying to see if I can push him off the edge. That's just getting something else of mine that I've got. Like, it's an interest, but it's finding time to... See you later, buddy. Um, it's finding time to be able to um, do all these sorts of things, you know. I'm already kind of restricted to only three nights a week where I can stream. And it's kind of like a balance of what do I sacrifice to do certain things. You see, I would love to do kind of like, um, I would love to do like a radio format a bit like, um, like Mika and Aaron on though, but like a state of trance. So kind of like a, a mixed, um, kind of a mixed music radio show kind of thing. So where I'm kind of like live mixing stuff. But then at the same time, kind of breaking away in between the mixes and stuff to kind of talk to people or talk about things. But yeah, sort of like, like I said, I've got, I'm limited to three nights a week where I can stream anyway. Um, can't do the same weeks, can't do the same nights every week. So I, I, I can't like do anything like consistently on the same day every week. Um, and then, I mean, I haven't done one for a couple of weeks, but normally I would do a DJ set on a weekend. So that was a Friday, if I'm streaming on a Friday or a Saturday. So again, that then takes me down to like two nights a week streaming. It's just, you know, Having time for everything. Time. Um, it's kind of part and parcel of being married, having kids, having responsibilities and stuff, I know. But I do seriously kind of wish I had more free time to do stuff, definitely. Definitely. 
But if I could make like a radio show work, I would definitely, definitely, definitely do a radio show. I broke something. This is kind of sim this kind of reminds me of the um, the actual incident though. Looking at this, when you come out of the lab after the initial incident, you got like these red lasers and stuff going on. Have we just kind of like created something similar here? I mean, I make it sound like I'm really old, but I mean, what I would, what what I would give to like be young again and have no responsibilities. Not that I'm like massively old. I'm only 35, but Christ, I'm literally counting down the days in 12 years' time. 12 years' time, both my kids will be, um, both my kids will be 18. I kick him out the door as soon as the minute they turn 18. Get my life back on track. <laughs> That's like one of my biggest arguments. My wife's like, oh, we, we need. My, my wife would really like have another kid at the drop of a hat. She wants like more babies and stuff. I'm like, nah, I'm, I, I want to get my life back on track. It's all about that now for me. I got to find a crystal here. There's a crystal there. Where's Richard O'Brien? Crystal maze. Could you start fans, please? Hey, I think I missed something. Missed something. Hmm. Well, I can't go back down. So I'm definitely missing something. I mean, in relation to a lot of people, I, I, my, my life, like, my life kind of, like, went forward really quickly. Oh, I didn't go this way. By the time I was, um... By the time I was, um... I was like, I was 20. I, I got engaged when I was 20. Um, I guess that works. Um, I was married at the age of um, 24. I was a father at 25. Like, yeah. I didn't hang around in my life. I like my brother in law, Katie's brother. He, um, my wife's brother. Um, he's only just turned a father for the first time and he's like 40 I think he's, he was 41 maybe 42 when he became a father for the first time which is madness <laughs> at age 6 he was born without a face Right, so what we're doing here, are we like turning on systems here to cause some sort of resonance cascade here in Zen? The irony. 
Uh, I'm not sure I want to be over here. Well, I don't want to do this from here, but... I just don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, it's like, bad things already happened. What could possibly go wrong now? Well, that, that could happen for a start, right? <laughs> Jeez. I just want to make a point though. I mean, I know I've sort of like been saying some, like bit, I've been saying bits and pieces, but in no way do I regret any of my life choices. I can't go through here, can I? Nope, because that would be death. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to seem like everything that I'm saying at the minute. I'm like moaning about what I've done in my life and everything. That's far from what I was kind of like alluding to. Mika, thank you very much for stopping by, buddy. Appreciate it. Always appreciate everybody hanging out here. Have a good evening. one way to sever a connection. I see what you mean about, like, I thought I was getting, like, really close to that center, but, um, yeah, we're still miles off from there. I do. I, I will say though, from what I, from kind of what I remember of the original, I think I do kind of prefer the remake. I kind of, I don't know how much like my memory is, but I kind of remember the original to kind of be almost like in a warehouse kind of environment. Am I thinking about the right thing with the original? Like when you go to Zenix, kind of like in a like this warehousey environment. Oh man. I don't know the looks of this. I'm not on that chapter yet. Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, I kind of expected that was going to happen given the amount of um, explosive things there were in here. Had to try though, nonetheless. So, all right, how am I going to get around here? So, the factory is in this game. That's what you're telling me. So, real talk here a minute. Ah, okay, I can jump over them. You enjoyed the factory? This doesn't look particularly good. Do I maybe have to bring that over here? It's restricted. I can't just pull it to wherever I want. 
Oh, hold on. Do I break this one first? No? Oh, the, you mean the conveyor belt in the actual Black Mace facility? Right, so what am I doing here with this? Got a root power to all three. This one's locked off. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can create the loop here, though. Seems to have done the trick. All right, so I just 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 for clarity, I haven't been to the factory yet. All right, and we're not talking about the factory in Black Mesa with the conveyor belts and the incinerators and all that sort of thing, no. So done that and done that. Now what do I do? Do I um maybe surely not. Okay. This is like a, a long shot, but Hey, did you look at that? Is there a... Is there an on button here, or does it just start working on its own? Do I gotta press something? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do here. Also, I hope I didn't need that cable for anything because uh, I may have just lost it. It's alive! It's alive! Oh, 
Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm meant to do now. All them are powering that. Nowhere else to put that in, is there? Ha. Huh. Okay. Oh, I okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Good call, Deathwish. Thank you very much. I did it one way. I didn't think to do it the other. Good call, buddy. He's a rolling. They see him rolling and hating. Depleted. Why is it the more I go, the further away I seem to be get from that like middle island? Mama, my space bar actually worked. Ah, okay. We we got a door open. Take this with me. Who knows? 
I'm guessing not, but what's the worst that can happen? Because now I have two cables. Half-Life 2 cable percent. You hit this point, you wasn't having fun anymore? Did you go off on one of those typical Conclan tangents? There's something quite special about when you, you go off on one of your tangents. I'll be honest. It's quite magical. Very special. Missing a cable. Yeah, I glitched it, but at the same time, I can't now take this cable out, which is unfortunate. Although, now that this door's open, I can probably use both cables over here. Alright, well I guess I've got to use both of them cables there then. But, um... Oh, I'm all the way back here. Well, that blows. That blows indeed. You know guys? I'm going to save it there. I think that's probably a good place to call it a night for tonight. Thank you very much everybody for tuning in. I appreciate the support as always. We'll be back tomorrow night continuing on with some more of this um, zen. I don't know how much more we've got left to do. Maybe we'll finish it up tomorrow. Maybe we will not. But find out. Come and tune in. Uh, half nine BST. PM BST. Tomorrow night. For episode number seven of Black Mesa. Thank you very much though for watching. I appreciate the support. Until next time. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.